areas uh, quite rapidly, and right now um, things have gotten, well, never mind, I was going to say things are quiet and calm, but um, now officers have decided to move the crowd back. Uh, the crowd has been here for about 30 minutes, so it's unclear why officers are moving the crowd back now, uh, but they are, so we will be walking with them. Aaron, let's, let's follow them now. And just as you and Matt were saying, I mean, the, the protests that we're seeing in some of the other cities uh, are absolutely devastating. The damage is unbelievable. And we are not seeing that here in Seattle right now. I think officers are trying very hard to uh, keep the situation as calm as possible. And why we have, we have heard reports of some damage. Okay, let's... Let's see what's happening here. While we have heard reports of some damage, we have not seen that damage um, ourselves, at least to not a severe extent. We've seen a couple smashed windows, a little bit of graffiti. You know, right here, you're seeing an example of how, um, you know, some of the, the protesters are incredibly emotional and have been trying to elicit a, a response from the officers out here all night. You know, in some ways, it almost seems to bother the protesters more that the officers are, are so stoic. Uh, but again, it does not seem that the conversation that a lot of protesters are looking to have is going to happen tonight because their focus right now now is keeping things safe and right now you can hear how things are eerily quiet that that's kind of how it's been all night you know one minute you hear screaming and there's a, a you know a bit of commotion and it gets chaotic and then within a couple minutes it's quiet and things seem peaceful right now things feel peaceful uh, it looks like officers just moved us down not even half a block. Uh, there are quite a bit of cop cars now um, behind us. And Olivia, Olivia I know that um, protests, these protests,